boys and girls. It's a, yeah, it's a Thursday and it's Bangkok and another game, another, another expo. This time it's the uh, Thailand Game Expo 2020. I'm going to find out where it is. I just noticed as I was walking in, we had the uh, mobile expo as well. And oh my god, you see some of the things that you see here in the. Oh, it's quite cute. Um, anyway, now I've got to find what the games app shows. So stick around and uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see uh, what, we, what we can find. Um, I was talking to Richard uh, yesterday, last, or at least last night on the Discord. Um, he's uh, coming back out here and he's going to get himself a laptop and all that sort of stuff. And one of the things he wants to do is he want to do, wants to do some gaming. So the focus for today is gaming laptops. You know, so it makes it a bit portable if you're out here. You know, see what the top of the line gaming laptops can offer us uh, and get my opinion on them as well. So stick around for that. And no, I'm not going to stop in for the Mobile Expo. I just bought one not so long ago. I think it was at uh, November, wasn't it? But yeah, so they've got the Mobile Expo going as well. So. Actually, I do think the last time the Mobile Expo was on, they actually had a lot of gaming rigs in there anyway. Um, maybe they'll realise the fact that they needed more room for the mobiles. Uh, I was just looking at the, even at the markets yesterday, um, looking at, you know, like 10 years ago, you know, you, your market, uh, you know, the covers for your phones, you know, there was two or three choices. Oh God, I don't know, I don't know how these, uh, you know, these market vendors can sort of stock, you know, the amount of options for telephone covers these days. Like uh, my Realme, which is a very popular brand here in Thailand, I think had three, three of the three hooks. And that was for the uh, for the uh, Realme. Uh, I think it was uh, um, two Realme Five and the Realme XT or something like that. Um, so there's not much choice these days in the mobile covers. And you've got to think who actually makes the money on that sort of stuff there. Really. Uh, anyway. Um, I think we're coming up to yes, Thailand Games at Expo and Esports. There we go. I'm guessing it's down this way. Oh god, yeah, there we go. That's a... We're getting close. We're getting close, that's for certain. The into racing car simulators. Mate, I'd get a special room just to put that thing in there, really. The only way to drive, what do you reckon? Pretty cool, cool looking rigs. Funny car? Yeah, see we are. Thailand Game Expo 2020. Let's see what we can find. Oh my god. It's gonna be loud. Maybe I'll put the uh, condenser mic on. Okay, we got the condenser mic on, so that should be a bit better. There's still a lot of noise in here anyway. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to start with my favourite brand here, the MSI brand. As a young gentleman, I might, I might actually be able to help me see what we can go in the gaming area. Okay, so this is uh, a model that's very similar to mine here. 34900, it's the Intel Core i7 uh, 9750, so the process is a little bit faster than mine. Um, it has uh, like a part of the Intel technology. It'll go up to 4.5 megahertz, uh, 4.5 gigahertz. It also comes with a GTX 1650 with 4 gig of RAM, DDR5 memory, 17.3 inch screen. I think that's fairly critical if you're going to do any gaming uh, in any sort of way, shape, or form. It comes with 8 gig of RAM, DDR4, a 512 gigabyte SSD, Windows 10 Home Edition. So that's where your starting point is in the MSI. Um, of course, on that, I'd be recommending you at least put another 16 gig in. I think gaming these days, you're going to need 24 gig, uh, or 32 is preferable. You might also want to think about putting a second hard drive in these. Um, I think this particular model, well, I, don't, I can't be sure, it may have an upgrade uh, for a second hard drive, so you've got a data storage. Uh, but Windows these days, I think you've got, you know, like a, you've got to reserve maybe 30 gig on your, on your base drive for uh, the Windows OS. Uh, then, of course, you, you know, like if you're playing something like Star Citizen, you may be looking at, you know, like in my case, I think that's maybe 120 gig. 
And then, of course, you want other programs on there as well that make it a functional computer. So 512 gig SSD is probably the minimum you'd be looking at these days. So the lad's telling me this one does have an empty bay in it for a second hard drive, so you could be putting another 512 gig SSD, uh, but this one is actually the M2, so the M2, what, uh, 3.5 gigabit per second? Yeah. Very fast, yeah. yeah. So that's an ideal sort of gaming rig. This is the top end model, he tells me, that they've got for the MSI. But we'll continue around. That would be my preference if you're coming out here. Pretty good price. Upgrade the memory. How much more memory can you put in? I think this Mac uh, is 64, you can go up to 64. So uh, throw, throw another 32 gig SIM in there, or I think the two 16s on top of what you've got. That'll give you uh, uh, 30 hours for 32, 40 gig. So that's probably a good starting point. Um, but let's have a look around and look at what other models we've got here. One of the things you do need to think about, I said, with your gaming, you do need 17 inch. I think trying to game on a 15 inch is going to be sort of a, it's a strain on the eyes, even with me. I have to wear glasses most of the time. Okay, here's the, probably the second runner-up that I would go for is the Asus. We've got a number of different prices here on the Asus RAM, and we've got a few different configurations we could probably talk about. So there's the 9750 uh, i7 again. Uh, this one here is running the GeForce RTX 2060. That's one notch down from my graphics card. 6 gig of RAM uh, on the graphics. Got a 17.3 inch screen. Um, 16 gigabyte DDR4. Uh, again, the um, 512 gig SSD uh, M2 drive and Windows 10. Now, I'm not quite sure whether that's home edition, but I, I normally guess that most of these are home edition. It's not my preference. Let's uh, starting at that one's 43,900. Not a bad price. Their starting price here is this one here, which is the um, uh, what was it, Dyson 1950 SD 1660 Ti GTX uh, with uh, 6 gig of RAM, uh, 16 gig uh, DDR4. So it's again, uh, it's not a not a bad configuration. Again, it's just a, it's, it's still the 1660 uh, version of the graphics card. Doesn't have the RTX in it. Um, but it's a store, it's a saving, it's a saving of 5,000 baht, so that would still be fairly effective on uh, Star Citizen. And of course, I'm going to re reference Star Citizen, which is my game of choice these days. It's probably about the most graphic intensive game that I can think of uh, out there in the market. Uh, and even on my art, even on my, great, my um, system at home, which is a desktop system with the RTX 2070, uh, I'm still only, you know, at the worst case, I'm still only pulling 25 frames per second in some of the most graphic you know, other uh, poly intensive areas. Uh, these ones here would probably be knocking down to maybe 15 to 20 frames per second on the 1660. So something to consider. But of course, they play other games quite well. Um, just the Star Citizen is not very well optimized with these guys and it's very graphic intensive. The top of the line one there uh, is the i7-9750 um, um, RTX 2070. It's the same graphics adapter as mine. Uh, it's got 8 gig in the graphics adapter, which is the definite plus. Um, uh, 8 gig, starting with 8 gig DDR, so you need a memory upgrade on that. Uh, and again, the 504 SSD. Uh, so this thing here, with the extra RAM and uh, an extra hard drive in there for storage, you may be looking at maybe uh, 55,000. Uh, 55, you also got to remember, like I bought my computer, my desktop computer, uh, three years ago. And uh, with that desktop computer, um, I've already upgraded that uh, three years later and I put in the RTX 2070. So originally it cost me, I think, 62,000 to build the desktop system. Um, and on top of that, uh, I've just spent another 22,000. Uh, but that's, that's the sort of things you do. When you're gaming, you're always trying to stay on the edge. Uh, we still don't have access to things like the, uh, the cloud gaming systems coming out of America, where you actually rent a gaming computer for about, um, I think, uh, price I've seen, if you're getting, getting in some of these special deals, you're doing uh, like uh, $15 US a month. And when you start to weigh up those sort of costs, and what it costs to upgrade a computer every three years to keep on the edge, you know, these cloud systems are going to be the way of the future uh, because they play really well on that. I know Seek has been using one 
um, uh, for his uh, star citizen experience. Uh, he got a special deal as well, and he took a three month on it. Uh, and he's getting incredibly great, uh, incredibly good, I wouldn't say great, but he's getting incredibly good frames per second, uh, which is well translated down the wire uh, to his desktop system at home. So it is something to think about. Well, okay, so Acer did turn up here with a 17-inch. This is the 17-inch uh, Acer Predator, which is their top-of-the-line gaming rig. I don't know what the girl over there was talking about. It's an Acer stand, but here we are actually on the Predator stand. Now, Predator is a sort of sub-brand on the Acer range, uh, but uh, this is probably uh, the best specification I've actually seen <laughs> on all the laptops so far. 9750 uh, uh, CPU, 32 gig of RAM, um, SSD 512, uh, PCI uh, NVMe X2 RAID 0. So it looks like it's got two SSD cards in there, or two of the what they M2 drives in there, in a RAID 0 configuration. That'll actually really boost up the uh, read performance of that, and give you a bit of performance, a uh, bit of protection as well if one of those cards fail. It's running the, the 2070 card uh, with 8 gig of RAM, 17.3 inch, 3 years on site home. And this is something you really need to start to really query about. Uh, home uh, warranties at home, yeah. But of course, here we are, 65, 900. So that one there is ready to go to play Sardis. It's ready to play Star Citizen as we are right now. It's an interesting looking rig, that's just a very pretty. Soy Makma! <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. So, okay. So it comes down. Oh my god. Seriously. I like. Top, top. So it looks like we've got Twitch on display here. I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on there, but did I mention I got a Twitch a YouTube channel? A, a Twitch, not a YouTube channel, a Twitch channel. So I've been streaming for the last couple of weeks on Twitch. Actually, the last couple of months. I've only just in the last week I've actually streaming uh, to Twitch and now to Facebook as well uh, because my streaming software allows me to stream to both. And God is loud in here. Okay, so I have actually found a Lenovo here. Um, 7 in inch, uh, i7 uh, 9750, uh, what do we got here, uh, 8 gig DDR4, um, it's got a 512 M2 drive, it's got a GTX 1650, that's pretty much entry level these days for playing Star Citizen, it's quite alright for playing other games, don't, don't get me wrong, uh, home edition, it's only got a 720p camera, I have been making a point of that. Um, 2500, 25990. So again, second hard drive, uh, some more RAM. Um, what else to be putting in there? Uh, so another 16 gig of RAM at least on top of that. The hard drive, so another 5000 baht. So 30,000, 31,000. You got a pretty much, uh, you know, at least a computer you could game with. Um, but yeah, it is Lenovo, but Lenovo is actually quite good when it comes to their on-site support and, and, uh, and servicing, so keep that in mind. They are, it's, a, it's not a bad piece of equipment. I just saw the sign there for IT City. Let's go and have a wander up there and see what they've got to offer. One thing you will find when you come over here, you won't find much way of discounting. Okay, you get discounts at a place like this if you're lucky to have a, an expo on. There's always deals to be made, but when you're actually shop buying, like IT City or back there where we were, JIB, and those are two main stands. Now I do buy from JIB, I also buy from IT City uh, in my, in, in, in my endeavours to keep on the curve of computing. And Banana IT, they always seem to have the pretty girls out the front of the stand, but I haven't seen any so far, so that's a bit of a worry. Okay, so here we are, more laptops, more laptops. So here we have the, uh, looks like the top of the line Lenovo here, looking at the pricing here. Uh, again, 9750 processor, 32 gig of RAM, perfect setup for uh, gaming the Star Citizen. Yeah, it's got a one terabyte uh, hard drive already built in, as well as the uh, SSD M2. Oh no, that's uh, no, sorry, I'm reading that wrong. That's one terabyte M2. Okay, one terabyte M2 drive. Okay, so you probably won't need a second drive on that one. Um, the RTX 2070, same as my graphics adapter. 
uh, Dolby surround sound, the Wi-Fi killer wireless, blah, 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 blah three-year on-site warranty. Uh, so your normal price on that would be 7,500, uh, 75,000 bar. But again, this is what I'm talking about. If you get to these expos, you'll get it at 6950. And again, when you get back to the store, uh, this will be something I'll ask the guys if we can actually have a conversation. So this is what I was talking about discounting. So if you're going to be coming out any time uh, at uh, IT City, right, that would be the normal price you'd pay in store. But today, well, today and for the expo, they're actually running at a 54,990. Um, that's actually a pretty decent price um, for what the configuration is there. Yeah. And here's another one from Asus there. Uh, trying to work out what the model is. Uh, uh, G731 and GW. Again, 9750. Essentially, standard processor. They're running all these gaming rigs now. Uh, the RTX 2070. So that's a top-end graphics adapter. Um, I haven't seen anything with a 2080 in it, um, but uh, those things run pretty hot. Uh, 512 gig SSD, uh, you can upgrade the hard drive, but that'll be just a single upgrade. It's got the 8 gig of RAM and it can be upgraded to 32. Um, yeah, so again, 52, uh, 52, 990, uh, 53,000. And I'm pretty sure, again, they'll be doing some specials, at the, the specials on the floor here tonight, or today. But uh, ultimately, they're, they're, they're just great computers. So the lad's telling me the fact that uh, for the show only 5,000 baht. So if you're going to be a holdout for the next show, these are the sort of prices you'll get at the shows. But I can't tell you when these shows are on. <laughs> Some people have asked, should they get an AMD processor or an Intel processor for their gaming rig? That's pretty much a hard call in my book. Uh, of course, I would lean to Intel. Uh, it's probably the most adopted brand on the market. Um, you know, the AMD processors, they've had just sort of an up and down history over the last 20 years. Um, they are definitely a second, a second runner, but uh, how stable they are and how well they write the code to support these games, that can be a bit of a questionable sort of situation. Um, I think if you, if, you, if you had the option to choose between Intel and AMD, I would probably take an Intel over an AMD. But again, it would come down to the price. The AMD can be, is known to be faster for the same price. Uh, and they supposedly overclock better than the Intel processors. So you've got to think about those sort of things. But again, I would be always hesitant to overclock anything. Looks like I've walked up too far. I'm actually now in the mobile phone area. <laughs> So it looks like the one hall is supporting both these expos. I might go and have a look around that, but we did we did the wander around on mobile phones last time I was here. So let's stay focused on the, on the laptops. So here we are, the first pretty girl in the show. Is that a car? <laughs> We've got a few banana girls out here, uh, the AOS girls. Uh, what show is complete without some pretty faces? Now that's an interesting outfit, very yellow. <laughs> Another pretty girl. Oh my god. Yeah, my show is complete without the pretty girls. Don't ask me what's going on here. I've got no idea. Pre-season tournament. Oh my god. Some other thing. Oh my god. So yellow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some chick meeting the hog buster or something, I don't know. Oh my god. Those certainly are my style of games, I tell you. Um, yeah, Star Citizen is about my speed. What do we got here? Sweet. <laughs> Some sort of workshop anyway. PUBG. I don't know what this is either. I do know that um, I'm about due to get a new gaming chair. Mine's pretty well had it. I won't show you pictures of the seat, but I've had it for like seven years. Um, I think these ones are a little bit on the overpriced side, but you never know. Yeah, this actually feels quite good. It's got a nice rock to it. Not too high, it's not too low. Yeah, I could do with this one. 
How much? Can't I? Oh my god, look at the price! Hang ma! Oh my god! 13,000! Oh my god! Okay, so I think I've found all the 7 and inch offerings for the laptops. Yeah, so 15 inch is something you might get away with. You're going to have to save some money uh, on a 15 inch. But uh, one thing I suppose before I close on the video, there is another option. Uh, one of the reasons I'm not talking about desktop PCs is most of us foreigners are a little bit on the mobile side. You know, we're staying in places like hotels and condos and you don't have all that much space like a house. Um, so putting a desktop system in and UPS, that's one of the things I better talk about too. Um, if you are going to get a desktop PC, um, they are directly, directly connected to AC power. Um, so if you're going to be putting a desktop system in, you seriously need to think about a UPS as well. That's an uninterruptible power supply. Um, and I've got, of course, got one of those. It makes a big difference. Like, I get brownouts at our house probably once every two days. Uh, we actually had a 20-minute power outage last week. And I was still able to successfully game while the thing, while we had a power outage. Um, and I didn't actually have to stop, although I did stop, uh, but as soon as I stopped the computer, the power actually came on. Uh, the, the battery backup lasted for about 20 minutes on the system I've got, um, and it started beeping us as well. That gives you indication of the fact that I'm below 50% of power, so then I turned it off. I turned the PC off, but as soon as I turned the PC off, I think two minutes later the power came back on, so I was all good. Um, but, uh, as I said, when you're running a laptop, you don't need to worry so much about that because they have like a, an isolated power supply external to the system. Uh, again, they can still get toasted by uh, a brownout or a high voltage surge, but the chances of actually a, a surge going through to the PC uh, is minimal. So that's why I do recommend when you're out here to have a look at the laptop. But there is something in between we should probably talk about before I close out. And that is these all-in-one computers. I think one of the things as a, as, a, um, as a foreigner living here, as I said, being a little bit mobile is something to consider. My, our laptops are the, the most mobile. Um, but we also have these all-in-one systems. Now I saw some up here on the AMD stand. Uh, we'll go back there and have a look at them quickly. Oh, some more pretty banana girls. Don't they love the camera? Here we go. Can you find me? Can you find me? Oh, no. Of course, if you didn't know what Kun Li Fan Mai means, <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> and she did, she says. <laughs> Well, I thought I saw a couple of these, what they call them, all-in-one systems, but I was mistaken because they were hiding the, uh, the computers underneath the desk. Um, but they are an option, but the problem with these all-in-one computers, uh, well, this one might be one here, HP Omen. Yeah, here's one here, like it's a HP desktop, uh, all-in-one system, um, 24,990. The advantage, of course, you get a nice big 23.8 uh, inch screen. This one's only running an i5 processor, um, uh, one terabyte spindle drive. Um, exactly why it's got a 3.5 oh, hard drive. 128 gig. Um, I'm guessing that's a uh, DDR. Uh, that's a uh, what do you call it? An SSD drive. It's got a GeForce M10X. This is one of the problems you'll have. They're really more for desktop computing, not really gaming. Um, one of the reasons I want to mention, there are a few on the market, but they're not really set up for gaming yet. The advantages you've got with these is they're, again, fairly portable, which is as a plan here, you know, going from place to place, you might want to think about that. So there's your keyboard separate from the desktop. You know, the advantage is you've got a nice big screen. It packs up fairly compact. So you've got to think about that. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, cut. No, 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 not live. You live? Yes. You live? Yes. Well, I have a YouTube channel. Yes, on YouTube. Yeah, I have YouTube. I've recorded for YouTube. What is your YouTube channel? Oh, there you go. 
But yes, that's the thing. Uh, these the all-in-one PCs, they're definitely an option to give you a bigger screen. They're fairly compact. Um, this is just to this is said, there's any other better pricing there. Nah, looks like all the other ones are a little bit lesser configuration. The other thing is there's not many things you can do like upgrading the RAM, upgrading the hard drives. They are fairly well self-contained. Um, you know, they can game at a minimum, but it's not something I would recommend for gaming, but uh, at least it gives you a bigger screen for us older blokes <laughs> who can't see a damn thing in front of the nose. But aside from that, it is an option. And then again, uh, going the desktop route, you're, just gonna, it's, you're gonna pay a little bit more for a desktop, but you've got a little bit more flexibility in the configuration. And JIB, they have some pretty good, uh, yeah, so JIB behind me over here, see JIB, you have plug for JIB. Um, uh, that's where I've been buying my parts from lately. They seem to have a little bit better pricing than IT City. Uh, plus I can check out uh, JIB's website for pricing better than I can uh, with IT City. I just think they just do a better website so I can do the pricing online then pop into the mall and buy what I want. I don't have to wait a week or something for it to be delivered. Uh, mind you, it's not like you're doing that every day or every week. Uh, but every time you want to do an upgrade, you've got to think about it. Okay, so there's some pricing that you might sort of see around the place. There's the RTX 2060. That's one below the card I've got there. Uh, 12, uh, 12,600. 2070 and 2080. And there you have the, uh, the RTX 2080. That's pretty much at the moment the top of the line in the graphics cards. Uh, that's what you're paying here today. But they normally retail around 25,000, which is not a, not a it's not a poke in the eye, is it? It's a it's a fairly serious piece of equipment. Um, there's a few different brands. That's the Asus. That's the Galaxy. I actually bought the MSI card, um, but of course I bought the 2070. There they have the 2070 and the Galaxy. Uh, or Galax, Galax, Galax. I've never heard of that before. RTX 2070 Super. 8 gig of RAM, DDR6, 15,900, 15,500. And of course the 28,900 for the top of the line here. Graphics cards are the key to gaming these days. Um, that's what they do all the Bitcoin, mi Bitcoin mining with. Uh, they're actually faster uh, in code base than your standard sort of CPUs because they are dedicated to crunching numbers, um, which is what you want for obviously Bitcoin mining. But uh, they aren't cheap. <laughs> That's one thing for certain. Right, so I thought, now that I'm here, I've done pretty much the run around of what I wanted to talk about. So it's probably time for me to actually go down and just you know, see if there's any, any more cute girls to check out. The pretty girls from Focus. If you want to get your screen protectors? There we go. <laughs> Lots of nice computers and lots of nice pretty smiley faces too. Plus the JBL girls, plus Sam Vis is very normal. Hello! Cute! It's not easy trying to find all the eye candy. Uh, but there is also a very high uh, prevalence of face masks. Uh, a lot of videos going on, scaring everybody about the contra uh, about the coronavirus. It is. It's but yeah, um, obviously the, the stars of the show are not wearing the masks, but uh, a lot of people are. Well, I definitely think I've got enough video footage for this particular video. Uh, we've sort of a few little cuties out there. Uh, I covered the main points, which is obviously getting a decent ga gaming laptop rig. Like I could spend hours here talking about normal application rigs as well. But uh, I said, and if you're following my channel, you know I'm a gamer, so I'll tell you what you need to know when it comes to gaming rigs. Oh my god, it's so loud!
Oh my god, my ears! Uh, anyway, so in closing, should you bring your laptop from overseas if you're going to be visiting here regularly or if you're going to be living here? Um, the rule of thumb I would sort of definitely recommend uh, if the laptop's less than three years old, uh, it's probably still usable. But if it's just a, a normal laptop and it's not got a decent graphics rig in it, that's like a, a, an RTX or a GTX card in it, uh, or in the, the other is the Ryzen cards, I think it is. Uh, that's the, um, the opposition. But, you know, unless, of course, it's got a proper graphics rig inside the laptop, I would definitely just say, ditch it, right, buy new over here. Um, but again, it's really going to come down to how much money you've got, really. Um, if you're going to be gaming, you, the, the rig has to support some of the high graphics ends of the stuff. If it's a 15-inch, yeah, you can get away with putting an external monitor in there. Uh, but that means two things you've got to lug around, uh, which is something that probably might not suit most people. Um, especially if you're going from, you know, uh, condo to condo or, you know, boarding house to boarding house or what do you call it, uh, maybe even you know, Airbnbs to Airbnbs, depending on how long you're staying here. Um, I know in Rich's case, he's going to be out here for two months. He wanted to know whether he, want, whether he should buy one in America or buy one here. If you're buying in America, you'd probably want to think about an international warranty, so you're still covered over here. If you're buying over here, again, an international warranty if you're going to be flipping back to the other country. So it's, it's, it's a really six of one, half a dozen of the other, as they say. So uh, lots to think about, but uh, that's what I'm here for, you know. Hit me up on my Discord channel, you know, let's have a chat. Hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Twitch, hit me up on Twitter. I'm on all those platforms, guys. Uh, I'm easy to get in touch with, easy to give advice. Doesn't cost you anything. And I'll give you my two cents worth. Or my two bars worth. Let's not go there. <laughs> anyway, uh, stick around, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Have a good one. And we'll talk to you later.